So look what I found. Look at this big mother. Absolute monster. Absolute monster of a toad. It's the biggest toad I've seen in this pond ever. Hey guys, welcome to Pond Life. I want to thank everyone for watching right now and tuning in. If you've clicked this video, you clearly love ponds, you love fish, you love aquariums. And if you can go down on the screen, right in the right hand corner, there's a subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button. All right, we're at the pond outside. Now, let's see if you can see something epic in our pond, something large, something big. Let's see if you can see it in the pond. Let's go. Anything? Did you see anything? Now listen, we got a massive black crate in there. What for? To build levels into your pond. So this is another way of building levels. Now what you can do is you can have all sorts of moss and weird plants hang cascading down uh, to also bring an environment into your pond as well for your smaller fish to hide inside the crate. Okay, you can also have your pump inside your crate as well to hide it. Uh, we've done a bit of that as well and it's just all around a really really interesting concept of doing your own way on building levels without actually having it so it's built into the ground so you can move it around and change where you want it and so what at the moment we've got it on some rocks there and it's got about that much water so what we're going to do is going to get pot plants that love those conditions of that much water and those plants are gonna now give level and height to the pond. So you're gonna get some big plants growing out of the pond. Now that's awesome, we're gonna be doing that. So stay tuned for that. We're not gonna be doing it this episode, but I just thought I'm gonna show you my progress on the crate idea. So, awesome. Whoa! Damn it! He got away! I don't actually know where he is. I'm guessing he's in here. It's not in there. How do you know? Because I can see. It's other fish. Oh wait, there he is. <laughs> it's gone. He went in there. Oh. There's a big one! He's huge! He's so much bigger in the net! Wow, oh, look at him. Alright, let's get him in the bag. And there he is! Oh. I can feel it Somewhere inside haunting Like a drug I keep on wanting There's a love that fits so perfect It's hard to believe There's a reason I can feel my heart stop beating And the air gets tough just breathing I'm alone but I'm still feeling Like someone's with me All right guys, as Willow eats her bone, we're gonna do something, and that is to teach you guys how to propagate a lily pad. It's real simple. Here's a lily pad. Uh, that's no good. Uh, but what is good is this one here, and this one here. So what you do is, to propagate, let's get into a good position here. To propagate a lily pad, it's quite simple. So you have the main plant, and then it will do an offshoot. So there's the offshoot here, it's attached to here, I cut it off, you trim it off, but you gotta wait until root systems are built and it starts to plant. It's nice and strong and healthy. You cut it off, you have two plants, real simple. Let's move on. So it's 1.30 in the morning. As you can see, I had to set up my temporary pump here as sadly, 
we look over here, I had to pull everything apart because my pump has died. Well, it hasn't died, but the pressure has disappeared. So if you guys have any ideas on how to fix pressure, that would be great, greatly appreciated. But yeah, the pressure is gone so much so that the pump can't pump enough water up through the pipes in order to get to the filtration system, which sucks, but what can you do? All right, let's have a good look at the pond while we're at it before we go to bed. There's a beautiful white molly there, did you see it? There he is. Beautiful white molly. Don't have too many of them in there. Load in the water. Scoop him out. The fencing isn't quite fully done yet, as far as put. I need to put some blocks down to stop them from going underneath the fence. So what are we gonna do with that? All right, over here, over here. All right, let's scoop him out. Let's see if we can get him. I don't like Toad spending too much time near the pond. Got him. Got a few fish in that, but it's all right. I'll, I'll put the fish back and I'll get rid of the Toad. So look what I found. Look at this big mother. So that's it. Oh. That's, that's a normal size. And then look at that mother. He's huge. It's like he ate one of the fish or some crap. It's absolutely huge. Oh, there's Jet jumping over the fence. Absolute monster. Absolute monster of a toad. It's the biggest toad I've seen in this pond ever. Go. Now that is that. All the fish fed. Now it's time to move on. Uh, I bid you guys a good night. All right, guys. So I'm putting this massive heater. There's Willow over there with his with her bone. I got this uh, 200 watt um, heater, and inside I've also got. Uh, a 300 watt already in there this was what was I put in the filtration system but now I'm gonna put them both in the pond what I'm doing is I've got the heater I've got a plant of glass here I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on the plant plant of glass and then throw it in you gotta make sure it's the at a little bit longer than the gets wet yeah. stick well so let's wrap up the episode our pond pump has died uh, which is a bummer we've switched it over for this pump here which is just a typical average pump and also it's full of our recycled bio filters uh, and bio balls and all that sort of stuff so the pond will live on Plenty of aeration there going around the pond, as well as the fish uh, swimming around and uh, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we just put our 200 watt heater in there to replace the 200 watt that was inside the filtration system. And we have a total of 500 watts in that pond of heaters. Uh, so that should do for now. Until it starts to get a bit cold, we're gonna get a massive Titan pump uh titan heater sorry so that's our goal and we're going to do that and here's the pond so the uh the knife fish the black knife fish is inside the pond as we know and it's not been seen since so i haven't really seen it uh he's definitely going to be hiding out for a while before he gets used to the pond and its temperature changes because it might not be perfect like the, the tank that it was in uh, and for it to then get used to the whole environment and then come back out and start to socialize and we see it more just like the red-tailed shark did in episode one it you slowly saw over time over the videos the red tail shark be quite active so this is going to be the same for all the fish that we put in here exactly the same i can't wait please subscribe guys and I will see you in the next Pond Life.